Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you the books that were recommended to me for my booktuber recommends project. So this is my little TBR jar for my project and I think I contacted 13 booktubers and had them recommend books to me. Some of them recommended more than one and others just one and I put them all in here because I'm going to do this just slightly differently. So the way that I've seen most people do it is every month you pick a book for the booktuber recommends project and then you read that book that month and then the next month you read another one. So the way that I'm planning on doing this is at the beginning of the year I will pick one book and then I will read that book. When I finish that book then I'll pick another one. So it might be mid-month, it may be a little later in the month. My goal is to read all of these by the end of the year but I'm not necessarily going to do it as one a month because there are more than 12 books in here and I hope to get to all of them. We will see. So now let me show you which ones were recommended to me and who recommended those books. So I have this little stack and they're actually tiny little books. Let's see if I can turn them around and show you. Ah! So they're tiny little books and they're also stickers. Um, because I am going to be putting them in my booktube planner which um, I will be doing a video about my YouTube planner and how I sort of structure that and what it looks like and I don't know if I'm gonna put it on this channel or if I'm gonna put it on my other channel but I will be doing a video about that so yeah I'll let you know follow me on Twitter and I will tweet whenever that's available so the first one is My Brilliant Friend, which was recommended to me by Stephanie from Time to Read. Lies of Locke Lamora, which was recommended to me by Lindsay Ray over at the channel Lindsay Ray. Uh, the next one is The Assassin's Apprentice, which was recommended to me by Sam from Novels and Nonsense. Tanya from List Obsessed Reader recommended Wildwood Dancing and Murder on the Orient Express. So this book was actually recommended to me by two people and that is the Book of Strange New Things and it was recommended to me both by Susie of Read Susie Read and Patty of I Smell Books. Mandy from Oh It's Mandy recommended Neverland. Sarai from Sarai Talks Books recommended The Glass Castle, Shadow of the Wind, and Burial Rites. Katie from The Book Wonder recommended Tiny Beautiful Things or Dear Sugar and The Age of Miracles as well as Me Before You. Nina from SCS Reads and Elena from Elena Reads Books both recommended Americana. Nina also recommended The Secret History and Elena also recommended The Painted Man and In Order to Live. Claire from The Book Fox recommended The Death of Grass and Lauren from Reads and Daydreams recommended The Days of Abandonment. I'm so happy to see that there was such a great mix of different genres and authors and just subject matter and I am looking forward to starting this project this year and to really kind of get outside my comfort zone with some, zone with some of these. There were definitely some books that were picked for me that I was thinking like, oh, I'll never read that book. And then it was picked for me by somebody whose opinion I really care about and so I was like, alright, I guess I'm gonna read it after all. Um, so I, I'm, I'm definitely excited to push my boundaries and read some things I might not have picked up otherwise without doing this project and I, I like the idea of getting to just pick something at random and reading it that month. I have found most of these books in one way or another, a couple of them in ebook form and a couple of them in, well actually most of them in audiobook form, although I don't think I'm going to listen to them on audiobook necessarily. I'm going to try to get them from my library. Um, I own I think two of them and I've got my eye on a few of them on book outlets so we'll see on how I pick these up. That may also dictate whether or not I can read one of these books when I pick it out because if I can't get my hands on it, if my library doesn't have it, or if you know I don't, I'm in the middle of another audiobook then I might pick a different one for that month. We'll see. I feel like this is going to be one of those projects that's kind of organic and we just we just figure it out along the way, but my goal is to read everything in this jar by the end of 2016. So if you guys are doing the Booktube Recommends project, let me know how, if, if you're doing it a little differently than, than everybody else or, you know, what your favorite book that somebody picked for you was. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying your day and that you are off to a wonderful start with in 2016 and I will see you guys next time. Bye!